the Cyber Minister of Health met in order to assess the epidemiological situation of the MPOX outbreak on the continent. Uh, really, the primary objective of the meeting uh, was to assess the MPOX outbreak, its impact on the continent, so that uh, we are able to facilitate a coordinated regional response in order to control the spread of the disease. Yeah. And what are some of the key findings or insights from the epidemiological assessment of MPOX presented during this meeting? Yeah, the review of the outbreak has been ongoing, and uh, we have seen that the number of cases uh, have gone up. As of the 2nd of September 2024, Africa recorded about 5,390 uh, confirmed cases, and uh, there were 637 deaths related to that. That translates to a case fatality ratio of 0.8%. And uh, we took note that uh, in 2024 alone, about 30, 13 countries uh, in the WHO Africa region have recorded the cases of NPOX, and uh, five of these countries uh, reported cases for the first time in August 2024. Uh, these are Burundi, Cote d'Ivoire, Kenya, Rwanda, and Uganda. Uh, however, the uh, lion's share of the cases uh, continue to be reported in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Mm. And what coordinated regional strategies were discussed or agreed upon to address the MPOX outbreak effectively? Yeah, basically, um, because this disease and outbreak is affecting many countries uh, across the continent, we necessarily need to act in a coordinated manner. So there were a number of uh, uh, several key points that were highlighted in terms of ensuring that there is uh, inter-country and uh, regional coordination in order to limit the spread of the uh, of the disease. So we looked at what the high risk areas for the spread of the disease are uh, in countries particularly where the transmission remains high. Uh, we looked at the lessons that uh, we learned from the COVID-19 pandemic and as well as the cholera outbreak that was also uh, affecting our uh, region in recent months. So, uh, therefore, issues, for example, of uh, coordinating trade activities uh, so that as we try to limit the spread, this does not uh, negatively impact economic activities. So, we need to have harmonized public health tools in terms of screening, in terms of diagnosis, in terms of surveillance, and again to adopt a One Health approach whereby we are looking at human health, we are looking at animal health, and we are looking at uh, the health of the natural environment. Uh, we are also looking at, in terms of coordination, uh, to look at the impact that uh, the MPOX is having on children, uh, because uh, what has been seen in, in recent months is that uh, the cases that have been reported, about 60% of them affect children. Uh, therefore, there is a, a need for interventions to prioritize services for children, either through vaccination, particularly for the endemic countries and such uh, uh, situations. Also, uh, the question of research, because uh, what the interventions that we are making uh, should be backed by data and by science. So the, the, the focus was also placed on uh, increasing coordination among, you know, acad academic institutions, health institutions, uh, so that we are able to uh, draw evidence on transmission, on the reservoirs of the disease, on the human-animal interactions, and what may be hindering the development of effective um, responses. Also, we looked at issues of uh, uh, how do we coordinate 
our response generally. Uh, and that means mobilizing regional and uh, international resources, establishing joint response teams, uh, enhancing communication, developing evidence-based strategies that are critical for effective control of the disease. And again, the question of monitoring, question of risk management that can help us uh, to deal with the outbreak. That is, those are some of the issues uh, at a broader level, but if you were to go to a granular situation, uh, you have to look at the development and implementation of the multi-sectoral national impact response plans, you have to look at uh, the issue of uh, strengthening youth communication and community engagement, you have to look at issues of prioritizing a phased approach to ro rolling out vaccination activities, ensuring that we have a continuity of services as we did during COVID-19, and again, the question of really investing in scientific research to have evidence uh, that can back up the response. Yeah. And um, how does the SADC plan to support member countries in terms of funding, resources, and also technical assistance for MPOX response efforts? Well, um, the, the SADC... Uh, Secretariat uh, is helping countries to coordinate these efforts. And uh, we as member states of SADC necessarily must uh, seek to speak with one voice. So support will be, for example, targeted uh, more aggressively at member states that are currently experiencing high number of cases uh, in the SADC region. Uh, we will have to have a uh, regular meeting so that we can learn from each other's experiences so that we can also look at what does the SADC protocol on health say in terms of responding to health emergencies. Because as we know, uh, the outbreak of MPOX has been declared a public health emergency of continental security, and that requires uh, greater coordination and greater joining of hands in order to assess and monitor the situation and to be one step ahead of the outbreak. So basically what the SADC Secretariat will do as a regional organization is also to help with uh, the mobilization of resources, including vaccines, including issues of diagnostics uh, for a robust uh, regional response. We know that uh, in order to be one step ahead of the outbreak would mean that laboratories in the region are able to conduct the tests, are able to return sound results that can be relied on in order for countries to be able to plan uh, what responses uh, they ought to, uh, to roll out. Yeah. And just finally, are there any in immediate measures that Namibia is considering following the outcomes of this meeting? Well, basically, um, for, for Namibia, uh, what we will do is, is, is to work in line with the recommendations that are coming from either SADC or from the Africa CDC or from the WHO. Uh, we as a country have actually already uh, started with the development of our national impact response plan. We are rolling out public health education uh, information in order to make the public better understand the epidemiology of MPOX so that they understand what they need to do to prevent uh, the spread, how they should understand what the symptoms are, uh, how they need to seek uh, health uh, care when they have symptoms, so these are all the issues that are flowing from the advice that we are getting. And uh, we are continuing to do that so that uh, uh, now that, of course, we don't have a confirmed case in Namibia, the public must still uh, remain vigilant. Mm.